All right, it is cold out there this morning, and that's the first thing I want to talk about. We're going to go over all the rain because that is the headline in this forecast. But look at the number right now in Santa Rosa, 31, 33 in Napa. Then you get to the rest of the Bay Area, and it's like 40s. Big differences. And the next few mornings are going to get colder. Let me give you the comparison here. We'll do Santa Rosa first, 30 degrees this morning. But we're going down to 29 for the morning low by Tuesday. Now, we're going to use three examples here. The next one will be Livermore. Not quite as cold. Instead of going down to 29 over here in the Tri-Valley, we've only got to go down to 32. And now watch the difference when we go a little bit more into the Bay for San Jose. San Jose has only got to go to 37. Everybody's getting cold. But I think these three examples really represent the Bay Area well in terms of how differently the morning temperatures will be felt depending on how much access, immediate access you have to the bay. Here's the other headline I want to talk about. The amount of snow coming to the Sierra between now and Friday. If you looked at that on first glance, you might go, no, that can't be right. That's way too much snow. It's close to six feet when you do the math on all those numbers. And six feet of snow for a three or four day period is not out of the ordinary when it comes to Sierra snowstorms. It has been for the last several winters. But this is typical. We should see that far more often than we've seen over the last several years. The other thing about the rain coming our way, watch the accumulated rainfall map fill in here. There's a definite pattern. That's the core of the atmospheric river. That's going right into central California. And that's going to bring the majority of this rain into places like Cambria, which could see as much as six inches, which is why San Francisco is only going to get about two and a half. It's a lot of rain still. But now it doesn't sound like a whole lot when you compare it to the six inches coming to Cambria. Cambria is really right in the aim of this thing. All right, as far as timing out the rain today, we've already done that. From late morning all the way through the evening today, we'll see the showers march their way across the Bay Area. And in terms of rainfall totals from that, we'll pick up anywhere from about a quarter of an inch of rain to a half an inch of rain today. So everybody notices the rain, it's, but it's not going to be as impressive as what's coming through by the time we get into Tuesday night. Through Thursday. So here's the first one, about a quarter of an inch of rain for most spots. That's just today. Bigger picture shows you wind advisory in place for tonight through 10 o'clock on Monday night, 40 mile an hour gusts, and then the second system gets here. And that basically has us covered from Tuesday night all the way through Thursday. It's got that atmospheric river. We just saw that in terms of how the rain's going to be focused on the central coast primarily. And then there's another one. This is Saturday and Sunday storm and has the same kind of structure with another atmospheric river that's going to be directed at the California coastline. These are the rainfall totals as we go from Tuesday night through Thursday. It's possible that next system on Saturday and Sunday could be close to this, but it's a little too early. That's a week out. So we're not going to try and get into the details on that one yet, but it's good to keep in mind as impressive as this storm for Tuesday night all the way through Thursday is. There could potentially be another one coming our way by the time we get into next weekend. Going to be busy around here for a little while, Emily.